what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video we're going to be taking a look at stability's ai in collaboration with its carper ai lab has unveiled a new significant development in the field of natural language processing with the introduction of two large language models firstly it is called free Valley one and its successor is called free Valley two now these two groundbreaking large language models are now accessible to the public and they're representing a major step towards the AI research field. Now guys, they have became the kings of the open source world as they are beating many of the open source LMs such as the new Llama 2 70 billion parameter model with many different metrics across different types of categories. You can see over here that they're better at certain things, have a better average compared to many of these open source projects. And this is something that we're gonna be covering throughout today's video. We're gonna take a look at what Stability AI has accomplished with these two models, taking a look at the data generation, taking a look at some of the evaluation metrics to get a better idea and evaluate them, comparing it to other open source models and showcasing some cool features in which FreeVolley 2 was able to stay on par with ChatGPT. And this is something that we're going to be covering throughout the whole video. So it would mean the whole world to me, guys, if you guys can go on to Twitter, search up World of AI. If you guys haven't already, turn on the notification bell, like this video, make sure you guys subscribe it would mean the whole world to me guys if you guys can check out my previous videos i'm going to be posting content every single day so make sure you stay tuned i'm definitely posting a lot of content throughout different aspects in the AR field so if you guys are interested i highly recommend that you check out these videos because there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from so with that thought guys let's get right into the video so guys as we talked about at the start the Stability AI had released two large language models. Firstly, it was called FreeVilly1, which is built upon the foundation of the impressive Llama 65 billion parameter model. And basically, it has undergone a huge fine tuning process using a different type of generated data set in the standard Alpaca format, which has been employing the supervised fine tuning technique. And to a result of this, its LM is able to showcase exceptional reasoning capabilities that has been demonstrated across a diverse range of benchmark tests. Now, secondly, the other bench or the large language model is called Free Valley 2, and it leverages Llama 2 70 billion parameter foundational model. And it was able to achieve a level of performance that is able to compare with GPT's 3.5 model in certain tasks, which showcase its potential in the formidable language model. Now, it's kind of crazy how it's able to, like we can see open source projects are slowly gaining the same type of rep as closed source projects such as like ChatGPT. It's slowly getting on par with open source data sets. And this is quite amazing as you have companies like Stability AI who are releasing such projects to help in the case of large language models getting better in the open source field. So I highly recommend that you check this out because you'll get a better idea. Now, as I stated, Llama 2 70 billion parameter model is something I covered in my previous videos so i highly recommend that you check it out i go more in depth as to showcase what it's actually about and then i talk a little bit more about how you can actually install it locally on your desktop as well as on the cloud so if you want to get a better idea of this uh, new open source model i highly recommend that you check out llama 2 so you can get a better idea so i'll leave those links in the description below now let us actually take a look at the data collection as well as the training process for Billy as well as Billy 2.0. Now the training process for Free Willy is something that drew inspiration from Microsoft's presented research paper which was titled Orca Progressive Learning from Complex Explanation Traces of GPT-4. Now we can see from that paper the data generation process shares different types of similarities with this project and this was because of the approach that was used in the Oracle paper and there was actually a lot of a lot of notable differences that were particular in data source utilization so basically what they've done was that to actually create a variant of the data set used in the actual training process of Freevilli, they used a total of 600k data points which were actually generated 
and approximately 10% of the data size that was actually employed in the original ORCA paper resulted in a more efficient and environmentally friendly training process. So it just shows cases how they were able to roughly use only such a small data size to employ such a huge efficient manner of its data set. Now the data generation process involved using high quality instructions from specific data sets which you can see over here and by utilizing these data sets there was 500k examples which were generated using a simpler large language model and this was basically addition to the 100k examples that were created using a more sophisticated large language model. Now, to ensure the fair comparison and to eliminate the potential biases, what the data sets were carefully filtered through was to remove examples that were originated from evaluation benchmarks. And from this filtering step, it was aimed to create more of a reliable as well as an unbiased data set for the training process. So this reduced sample size it compares comparisons to the original Oracle paper, as well as training the free value models on a synthetic data set that yielded exceptional performances across various benchmark tasks. Now this success validates the effectiveness of this approach to use different types of generated data sets and offer the advantage of significant reducing cost and carbon footprint associated with the tools that are used in the training process of this large language model. Now guys, the creator of LLM as a chatbot was able to imply that FreeWally is quite accessible and there's good examples to showcase how it was so amazing in terms of different benchmarks now let's, let's actually take a look at some examples now that he was actually able to formulate using his own like lm as a chatbot project so basically he uploaded the project off of it and he was able to run some tests by making it write certain things as well as certain prompts to test its functionalities. We can see right, a Python function that takes a list of numbers as an input and returns their average. So we saw it, it is able to create this function and we can see it gives a little explanation as to what it's about. Now we can ask you, what is the implementation function in JavaScript to reverse a string without using the built-in reverse function and it's also able to do this now this is just a coding example there's other things that we can see now explain programming concepts with the code snippets in your favorite programming language which we can see over here it's able to explain the concepts and showcase its capabilities in the coding program area uh, there's more complex coding complex uh, concepts with the code snippets which you can see over here it's able to output bigger context which is quite su quite surprising and it's quite good because you can see there's long lines of code snippets which is kind of crazy and you can do a lot with this writing an email it's able to functionate or uh, formulate such a, a huge email which is quite beneficial for a lot of different things uh, blog posts for writing an introduction explain the concepts in simple terms and he i think he basically tested out different prompts to showcase the true capabilities of this large language model and it just showcases that there's a lot of potential with this because you can do a lot with this and this is something that is open source so this just shows that there's a lot of things that will be coming through this project now to assess the performance of free volley models, Stability AI conducted internal evaluations using Eleuther AI's I'm Eval Harness, which was enhanced with AGI Eval for a comprehensive analysis. Now this evaluation revealed that both free volley models exhibited exceptional capabilities across various domains, which we saw on the Open LM leaderboard that there it was able to achieve such a high average across different types of domains which showcases that they demonstrated a remarkable aptitude for intricating reasoning as well as enabling them to tackle complex problems and understand different types of generative content. Now, we can see that the models displayed an impressive proficiency in addressing challenges as well as questions related to the specified fields such as law and mathematical problem solving questions. Now, this was all due to the like inclusion of AGI Evo as the evaluation process further like boosted the model's assessment by providing a valuable insight into the performance. And we can see that in the benchmark as he was able to achieve such high remarks 
and in comparison to even ChatGPT 3.5 model, which is quite amazing to see an open source project like basically go on par with ChatGPT's model, which is closed source. And we can see it was able to achieve a 71.4% in its overall average compared to many of the other open source projects. And in terms of GPT for all benchmarks, we can see it was able to achieve really high standards across the whole board and across various domains. And this is something that is gonna be contributing to a huge gap in the open source world as the open source field is definitely getting like bigger and seeing projects like this which are being enhanced to the such amazing capabilities are showing and inspiring many of the different types of developers to keep creating projects like this that are open source and providing value to everyone in the machine world as well as the ai world to get better tech as well as better ai for their own use case now guys, in conclusion, by releasing both of these new models of Freebuilding 1 and Freebuilding 2, we're going to see that Stability AI is going to promote such a huge collaborative research as well as fostering innovation across the AI world with these open source models. I hope you got some sort of value out of this video. I hope I went more in depth into the video and if you want me to check out when the actual models are available to actually use case, I can definitely do some tests as well as showcase a little bit more about the like what these models are able to do by showcasing their capabilities so it would mean the whole world to me guys if you guys can check out my twitter and follow it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you turn on the notification bell here so you can stay up to date with future uploads now guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out my previous videos if you guys haven't already so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for everything I really means a lot to me and I highly appreciate whenever you send comments or whenever you support the channel. It really means a lot to me guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out fellas.